So those people who don't want to waste their time in learning all the process of making of this kind of typography text one, because I'm going to create more kind of typography text in upcoming uh, videos. So you can just click on the link provided in the description below, or I'll also pin that link in the comment section below. So you can just click on the link and you'll be directed to website on which this DRFX file is uploaded. You can get the DRFX file for free or you can even pay for that DRFX file. It's totally up to you. And in case you don't know how to install a macros or a DRFX file, so there will be a tutorial link also. So you can follow that and install it. So there's no issue. So thanks. Okay. So here we have this file. I have disabled soft glow. So I'll just delete it because I don't need soft glow. Glow node is enough in its own. So I'll just quickly take all of these and disable all of them. I'll explain everything what is happening here. So don't worry about it. So first of all, what I did was basically I took this background node. I'll enable my media out. Okay, so I took this background node. What I did was I put a rectangle mask on it. So it looked something like this. All right, so this is before rectangle mask it was looking something like this like i have this gradient over here i created this gradient okay i added these two points are same are of same color and this one is a little darker then we have this rectangle mask on it okay so because of that this kind of strap okay then i added this merge node and again i added a background node why i added this i'll tell you later because this is the thing which i added later the thing which i did next was adding this text node okay so now as you can see here we have this text basic text vision studios and it is applied on this merge node okay nothing fancy over here no modifiers nothing then again this text node all right and i'll just enable this text as well as this merge node and here you can see we have another text very simple very basic okay creative day film post production you can add anything over here just to put something over here because this was not looking good blank like this so i needed to put something over here so i just uh, put this and here you can see that its color is also it's between white and black basically so it's in it grays and next i added this transform so what this transform did was basically I decreased the size. Okay. And then from here, the game is changed. So I'll tell you why. Because now I took this trap kind of thing. I duplicated it. I just took this trap and then duplicated it uh, to like 10 copies. Okay. Then I put that strap onto a shape and the shape was this okay so this is a cylinder basically and here i change its radius and height and i increase the subdivisions obviously to make it smooth and this merge node is over here because i also have this camera and then i again duplicated it now why i duplicated these two more bands all right so we get total of the three straps slash bands over here and in this duplicate node i have played with in jitter values so i have played like rotation jitter uh, y value and keyframed it okay and also the z rotation of it all right so next obviously render a 3d because anytime we need if we need to you know add something in 3d you have to first render that in 3d and then merge it into the 2d layer okay so i'll just quickly enable merge and obviously the background for the background because it was looking like this like shape then in merge we have this camera also added and then in duplicate we have two more straps and then in render it was looking like this so obviously i'm not going to you know put the background like this alpha so we need to put something in there 
so when i added this render to the merge i added this background node also it is very uh, basic nothing is going over here in this background node obviously then merge and after merge it was looking something like this and the cherry on the top is glow and yeah this is how i made this text very simple very basic right there's nothing fancy over here and i mean this was created randomly like seriously i was just sitting and playing with these settings and i got something like this okay now i'll tell you why we have this background and these two rectangle nodes like this rectangle and the instance of this rectangle node so first of all when you see this uh, these three straps they're looking good but something is still missing in this so to add just some more graphics i just added another background in the starting obviously and if i'll enable this you can see what is happening so we have this background and then i added a rectangle mask on it and then i instanced uh, instanced this uh, rectangle mask and remove this center property like de instanced this center property over here and then just brought it a little down here you can see what is happening we got these two lines these beautiful lines and because of that we have something like this and if i'll play it for you guys you can see what's happening so i mean it's looking great you can add more graphics uh the thing which i'll like to change is obviously adding more graphics removing this creativity film post production text and adding something else over here and the fusion studio is looking really good and i like this kind of text animation effect okay so yeah this was something it and in the next video i'm going to tell you how i made those warning straps yeah i also made that warning uh, straps kind of text that was very basic very simple but that looks really cool okay so yeah that's pretty much it guys and thanks so much for watching if you like this video and please do like this video and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel uh make that red icon to gray and then you will have this bell icon kind of thing then press that thing so that you can never miss uh upcoming videos and yeah see you guys soon till then peace out